students so before i start today's session i want to show you a few images okay so here we go so in this first picture you can see that the people are very happy okay these two people are very happy and they are celebrating about something right yes but same case if we look at the second picture here we can see this girl is a bit annoyed and she's very angry she's she's not seeming to be very happy she's very angry and she's very upset about something yes yeah and in the third picture we can see one person very upset and he's crying very loudly right yes now if i ask you what is the common link between all these three images or um, gifs okay then probably you might say that these three pictures or gif show some kind of um, you know some sort of um, emotions right yes but to in today's session we are going to learn about something that helps us to express emotions to know more stay tuned for a few seconds So in today's session we are going to learn all about the exclamation mark okay first we will understand what is the exclamation mark and then we will understand the different uses of the exclamation mark okay yes so to begin with let's see what is an exclamation mark so the exclamation mark is a punctuation mark that is used and placed at the end of exclamatory exclamatory sentences so it is usually placed at the end of the exclamatory sentences and you know how the exclamatory mark or the exclamation mark looks like it looks like a vertical line with a spherical dot at the bottom of the vertical line so now that we know what an exclamation mark is let us understand the different uses of the exclamation mark so we use exclamatory marks after interjections so what are interjections interjections are some words like hooray wow and alas so whenever you use these kind of words in sentences you always place an exclamatory mark or an exclamation mark after the words in the sentence okay yes and we also use the exclamatory marks after exclamatory sentences we use the exclamatory marks after exclamatory sentences that is the sentences that expresses strong emotion okay like for example here we can see some sentences right for example what a beautiful dress yes so this sentence you know uh, expresses a strong emotion it gives some joy of wonder or something about the dress yes she is describing how beautiful the dress is and she is admired by that that is why we place a um, exclamation mark after that sentence as it expresses a strong emotion okay likewise let's read the second sentence don't touch that hot pan okay so this sentence gives some kind of an urgency right don't touch that hot pan it's like saying quickly or screaming at someone when he's about to touch that pan and it uses strong emotion yes and let's see the third example stop disturbing the class i hope this sentence uh, um most of you would have got through from your teachers right yes let's see the sentence about that stop disturbing the class 
So here we have the exclamatory mark. Since some students are disturbing the class when the teacher is teaching something, then the teacher shouts. Okay, she gives some uh, strong emotion in her mind, so her mind, and tell to stop disturbing the class. Yes. Okay, and if you see the last two sentences, especially the second and the third sentence, you can notice that these two sentences can be written with a full stop. Don't touch that hot pan. This is an imperative sentence because it gives some sort of um, order, right? Don't touch that hot pan. It gives some urgency. If we just place a full stop, it will not be an urgency. It will just say, don't touch that hot pan. But if someone is about to touch that pan and someone is screaming to not to touch that pan, we place an exclamatory mark. You can see the difference and change for yourself. Right? Likewise, the third sentence, if we say, stop disturbing the class. This sentence can also be said and can be written with a full stop at the end of the sentence. But since many students are shouting at once and it's disturbing, she will tell to stop disturbing the class and hence we need to place an exclamatory mark at the end of the sentence. When we place the exclamatory mark of, at the end of the sentence, it expresses a strong emotion. That is the reason why we prefer more of exclamatory mark what we place at the end of these two sentences than the full stop. I hope you understood this. And let's move on to some more uses of the exclamation marks. We use the exclamation marks after the interjection O. Oh, okay. But in this case, the exclamation mark will be placed after the nominative of address but will not be placed after O. Oh. So, what's nominative of address? So, nominative of address is usually a noun uh, to whom you are speaking in a sentence. To whom is being spoke in a sentence. So, let's see some examples. Two sentences, they have the same meaning but they have been written in different ways. Let's see. So, the correct one is Oh, Father, I have failed. So, here, what is the nominative of address? Father. Because Father is whom I am speaking to and um, nominative of address is um, person or to whom I am speaking. Okay? Oh, Father, I have failed. Oh, Father. Here, we place the exclamation mark after Father. That is after the nominative of address and then we continue the sentence and not after O. So, this sentence is correct but this sentence is wrong. Okay? Yes. Now, let's see the second sentence. O countrymen, hear my words. Here, who is the nominative of address? Countrymen. And where will I... Place my exclamatory mark. I'll place my exclamatory mark after the word countrymen. Correct. So we place the exclamation mark after the word countrymen and not after O. Oh, let me mark it for you. So this is a correct sentence but this is wrong. Okay. Yes. So, hope you understood this uh, rule very clearly. Let us move on to some more rules. So, here we need to know that when we are using the exclamation marks in direct quotations, you must not add a comma or a full stop after the exclamation mark or after the direct quotations. Okay. For example, uh, here... There are two sentences. Let's see. She said, how wonderful. So here, um, in these two sentences, 
one sentence is wrong and one sentence is correct as you can see here and according to the rule i'll highlight it for you you must remember you must not add a comma or a full stop after exclamation mark okay and here in this second part they have added a full stop after the direct quotations okay you should not add a comma or a full stop after the exclamatory mark or the direct quotations i told it in the first itself right yes so hence this sentence is incorrect and this sentence is correct now here we see the second example here also there are two sentences here the sentence is how wonderful she said okay so here in the second part we have a comma after this um direct quotations okay we should not use a comma after direct quotations so hence this is incorrect okay this sentence is incorrect and this is correct okay hope you understood this part if you did not understand any concept please rewind that part you will definitely understand if you still did not understand please post it in the query sheet tab i post in the description box then i will see your doubt and i will take the possible action to clarify the doubt i will post it as a video so that brings us to the end of the session and i hope you understood the session very clearly today we learned what is an exclamatory mark or the exclamation mark and we understood the different uses of the exclamation mark right yes so i will meet you all in another video until then happy learning enjoy learning with teachers education and learning if you all like this video very much then hit the like button share this video with your friends and please subscribe to this youtube channel teachers education and learning thank you bye bye take care